what the bike really lets us do is it lets us account for the actual physiological makeup of that person. It takes away the stresses of on field and running forces going through joints, tendons, etc. And it really allows us to target the physiological makeup of that person and improve them from there. Last year, I realistically thought this would have been my last year, you know, one more season, but no, I reckon I've got another two, three years in me, and that's just from not the impact out there of running every day. We started using it on a plus two day once a week, and now we use it most training days. And I think it's about using the testing data to really do bespoke individual programs. And we actually use trainers as well, um, which are the exact same bike, which is a different gearing system, um, which allows us to get our our lower limb injury guys back on the bike and conditioning a lot quicker than it would normally. The great thing about you know the way we use it here is that you know you, you can get your fitness done, and then obviously you can spend more time on on the technical side of the game. As a squad, we are probably one of like, the fittest in the league. It's definitely the fittest I've ever been. I think it is like a lot to do with the Watt bikes. I'm coming into like the twilight years of my career, and and if it wasn't for the Watt bike, I don't think that I'd be feeling as good, half as good as what I am feeling now. I do aerobic work, do leg speed, um, and the accuracy of the testing, the reliability reliability of that testing was massive for us. We don't drop out on field just because we are doing the bike. It is almost like the extra kick we get that other people can. You know, like I say, the Watt bike, it's, it's been a, a revelation and, and one that I'm so glad that Tom and Shane took the, the punt on.